challenge that I'm battling today is the weather. So I'm struggling. Every time we go anywhere, it's like mad dash, like scramble. morning everybody we leave today so I'm gonna vlog with you while my day is absolutely insane so that I'm not alone in this you can be here with me I don't even know like ah, that's how I feel that's how I feel today I put cartoons on for Floyd I never do that But I have so much I need to get done. Like I need to pack all of our clothes, mine, Chad's, Floyd's, get them in the van because it's not like we're taking a backpack. I have to like load them in the closet up there, pack all the food, go through everything, make sure the house is clean because I do not want to come home to a dirty house. Yeah, yeah let's start by putting some mascara on, shall we? The challenge that I'm battling today is the weather. It's going to be like 33 degrees Celsius, so I can't even be in the house for a portion of the day. So I'm going to try to get everything done this morning before I put Floyd down for his nap. And then when I put him down for his nap, I have to work on video editing. The sun at like 2 p.m. goes like behind the trees so we get shade on our house and then it gets like manageable so if I get all of the hot things done like washing dishes doing laundry before that then after that I can do tidying organizing and getting the van packed Ooh. no we want to keep those we don't want to put them in the garbage those are our dryer balls oh and at some point, I have to figure out a way to create a self-watering system for all of our house plants so that they don't die. I think I'm gonna try to find some cotton yarn or string. I think I have some from Macrame that I can use and put into a bucket of water and then pull all these strings out and put them into our plants so they can like wick the moisture. We'll see if that works. Today's the day Floyd figured out how to open containers. So he's unpacking everything. I'm hot and bothered already. Today is proving to be far more difficult than ever imagined possible. We're dying in here already. The heat is too much. I'm gonna go up there and get that fan that we have points into the bedroom and I'm gonna bring it down here because because we're dying it's hot let's see if that works I just put it over there hopefully Floyd A can't reach it and sticks fingers in it and B doesn't unplug it from the wall a million times I'm seriously debating putting Floyd and I in the in a cold shower right now just to cool down. I don't know how I'm gonna get him to nap and he has to nap. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna have a cold shower. We had a cold shower, it was amazing. I attempted to put Floyd down for a nap while we were cool no go but i was able to pack all his clothes since they're upstairs and it's so hot up there so now floyd's sitting in the sink with his feet in the cold water you need to go down for a nap nap aren't you tired while i'm sitting here i'm just gonna pack our toiletries where am i gonna put all the essential oils Floyd? they take up so much space 
Maybe we'll bring less of your stuff. Just kidding. Okay, let's narrow down the most important essential oils. Floydy. We'll take tea tree, citronella, peppermint. Should we shave your head? You don't even know. You don't even know. Should we shave mom's head? I'm gonna take my dreadlock supplies in case my hair is any crazier than it already is. And the little bit of makeup that I wear if I put makeup on. In here I also have Floyd's shampoo and wash, um, a little container of Q-tip, his scrub brush for his hair in the shower, my lash growth serum which I can't go without. I'm addicted now. Little things like clippers. I should put Chad's stuff in here too. You got this. What's this? Look at your little baby curls. Oh, baby. Oh, baby curls. You look just like your daddy. You look just like your daddy. Well, I feel like we're kind of getting stuff done. You want to try for a nap nap? <laughs> Mama, come lay with you. Give you the milk. Yeah, let's go try. We're gonna give up on nap time for this morning. This afternoon I have to go to the post office because I'm expecting a check from the government. And if I don't get it today, that's gonna really suck. So I'm waiting till the end of the day to go to the post office. And if I have to drive around with the AC on in the car for, for him to have a nap, that's what I'll do. I'm giving up on nap time now. I need it. Oh, today is such a rough day, guys. I wish that this was like live so you can t all tell me what to do right now because I'm struggling. Floyd has started taking the knobs off the stove. <laughs> what a little guy. Okay, one thing I can do is the van came with this bottle of cleaner. There's a tiny bit left in it. I'm just going to pour some of my homemade cleaner into it and put it back in the van so that I have something to clean with. This is a super concentrated uh, vinegar and lemon. And I'm going to just pour some in and then dilute it with water. Awesome. So now I have cleaner for the van. I'm giving up on trying to get anything done. Our ferry leaves at 9 p.m. tonight. And a fan. Yeah. Don't eat it. So we leave at like 7.30. Chad gets home at 5.30, 5.45. So I have some time when he gets home to hopefully try to get some stuff done. We're gonna eat some lunch and go sit in the pool because I'm gonna cry. Bye, Dad. that we need to bring that I know we don't use like a lot of and um, there's like two soy sauce rice vinegar mustard maple syrup I have these baby bullet containers which I don't use so I put all of our condiments in here and then I have like some smaller jars I'm gonna put mayo in here so that I don't have to bring all of the condiments from the fridge because we do have an electric cooler that is plugged in in the van and it can run all the time. So we're going to be buying groceries. And this way we don't have to get like a ton of condiments. This will fit in the cooler perfectly. got him to sleep. Poor guy, he's up in the bedroom. He just was so tired outside and the heat probably made him extra tired. I have so much 
to do. I'm going to take this time to get some work done on my laptop. Awesome, we're doing good. Floyd slept for like two hours. He did pretty good up there. Amazing. I don't know how he did it, but we're going to run to the post office now. And then I have this pile of stuff that needs to go to the van, so that's doing good. Yeah, I'm just going to continue piling everything. Just an idea of what we're like taking. This bag down here is like a big zip bag of extra linens, towels, like warm jackets, rain jackets, sweaters, that kind of thing. Um, we are going to be doing disposable diapers the whole time we're gone. Obviously, that's just way easier. So I have a diaper caddy. This is Floyd's pile of clothes I have to put away. I'm going to bring this little table so that I can work on my videos in the van. We have this pet cooling mat. Mine and Floyd's shoes. Got to pack the cooler. There's some stuff in the bathroom and then all of Floyd's stuff. So his like white noise machine, his blankie, some toys. I'm going to put the sunscreen in my bag before I forget to take that. Let's go to the post office. Pray for my check. Pray for my check. I got it. It's a miracle. I was kind of afraid this was going to be another wedding dress issue. Where my check didn't come in time. In Canada. Woo! It's real. In Canada, um, you get what's called like child tax benefits. So if you have a kid, you get money from the government. So... I just recently filed my taxes and I haven't been paid my child tax benefit since Floyd was born. So it was backdated. So all of my monthly child tax just got sent to me in a big old check. Oh, Miss Girlie. Sweet. Chad just got home. He's like half an hour early, which is awesome. I've been packing a little bit more. We've got dry groceries, um, our little like radio, camera bag, the French press, and our baby bullet so I can make oat milk. I'm gonna make dinner now though, so that we can eat really quick, and then all we have to do is load the van. I'm surviving. We're getting this van going. We've got an hour until we leave and I think we're gonna be just fine. <sighs> it's going really well. Dying though. Chad even had to lay down in the pool and he then he had a cold shower. Like it's hot. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to figure out, I'm gonna still try to figure out my watering the plants while I'm gone thing. I was gonna use cotton rope and put it in the plant and then have a bucket so it would wick the moisture. But I think I'm just gonna take the water bottle and put it in the plant. That won't do all my plants though, so I don't know. Just water them like a lot. And then the ones that need more water are my bigger ones. Try this trick. I'll let you know how it goes. What do you mean? What do I mean? Like, We're driving across the country. I literally got a bird three hours ago. Like, I ain't got a clue. Every time we go anywhere, it's like mad dash, like scramble. Every single time. And today is no exception. There's that's, our cat. That's our cat on the road. Awesome. Bye, bro. I love you. Oh, that's so sad. He'll be okay. Gord will take care of him. And I told Gord that if he can't take care of him, to let me know and I'll message Kayla. This is the beginning of our super long journey. If you haven't subscribed already you're gonna want to this is exciting oh a little note though um the next video you see will be Floyd's birthday party in Saskatoon and then the beginning of our trip so that's how I'm gonna do it so see ya on Floyd's birthday